what is up everybody how are you all doing today welcome 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 my name is cookie for you and i wanted to talk about my genuine thoughts on pirate 101 now i've always thought when i first started playing wizard 101 i thought you know pirate 101 wasn't popular because maybe it wasn't as good as wizard 101 i always thought oh maybe the you know people didn't enjoy pirate 101 because it wasn't good however it turns out i was very wrong i went to go play pirate 101 for the first time ever and found out i genuinely enjoy this game this game is very addicting very much in some ways in my opinion a lot more interesting and a lot more fun than wizard 101 now the cool thing about power 101 is there is a lot more strategy involved there's a lot more process you gotta go through there's a lot more thinking you have to do the downsides of power 101 i will say are indeed one your pets pets take a long time for example right now i just sent my pet out to go uh, train and it's going to take it 21 hours and two minutes more to finish this training of course i could finish it for my a, a thousand crowns but hell no i don't want to do that basically the way pet training works in pirate 101 is you train your pet send them out and then when you're just starting when they're just a baby it takes about two minutes right now don't do these ones don't do the the ones that upgrade your cheer stats because that is irrelevant it actually doesn't let you feed a snack afterwards it's not actual training you want to only upgrade your health will ability and strength unless if you want to upgrade your cheer stats for certain uh games like you know pet games or whatever now for me personally i will say the one thing i like about power 101 is not only just the storyline but the combat the combat in Power 101 is superior, 100%. I could go ahead and show everybody what I mean by this. Let me go ahead and find an enemy. But in my opinion, the combat in Power 101 is a lot more engaging than Wizard 101. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. So here we go. We go into a fight right here. We got El Toro, Bonnie Ann, and Rodolfo. You guys may not know who they are, but they'll make sense if you actually start playing the game. Uh, basically, they have abilities. Your companions have abilities such as Reposite, which uh, Reposite, if I'm correct, basically when they block, Reposite means that if they block or dodge an attack, they will attack the enemy and punish them for that. Relentless means that basically, oh, they'll roll a chance at attacking again after hitting. And Bladethorm, if they crit or kill an enemy, they will attack again. The more you level those abilities up, the more uh, specific it becomes. Now, I do have abilities as a pirate to use. Right now, I'm running my Musketeer, so I could use this and hit these three. My Bonnie Ann could use her ability and hit them all. Uh, this dude can use his ability, and this can use his ability to buff. The cool thing about that is, you can have, like, tons of companions on there. There's a lot more strategy. I just honestly enjoy this. You see, the enemy had repelled borders. I have repelled because I dodged. He has first strike. He did a super hit. Then he does blade storm. Then I continue with the lens. Now the battles may take longer. And I think that is one reason people may complain about the thing. Because the battles may take longer. However, it is a lot more strategy. And a lot more interesting. There is much more processing through this. You gotta plan these out on the late game. In Mushu, it is quite hard. Like Mushu, the, the level scaling goes way up. Before Mushu, it's pretty easy. It's pretty decently easy to fight, but I personally like it. I really like this. I will say, Power 101, so many people will be complaining, oh, it's not getting updates, but it just got an update. It just got the Sinbad Part 2. And on top of that, we are looking like we're going to be getting more updates for Power 101. So in my opinion, people do not have an excuse to just say they should not play the game because honestly, Power 101 is extremely fun. I do think that the, the paywall feels like it goes longer in Power 101 than it does in Wizard 101. Now, as you can see, because I used my ability for Bonnie and I cannot use it again. So, basically, I have to just regular attack. Now, Bonnie Ann is a musketeer, so she can actually shoot from a range. Uh, Del Toro is a swashbuckler, so he basically goes off of that. We're going to try to kill this one. So that way we get rid of one of the enemies. We don't want to die here. 
the other cool thing is with all these abilities you got the balloons which are kind of like the treasure card equivalent of wizard 101 however these the balloons in my ability, a bit, uh, opinion have much more utility I think that you know they these the balloons can actually help you so much. Also, the cutscenes with the attacks are impressive, stuff like that. You know, it's it's basically it's basically in my opinion one of the most fun games I've ever played. Part one 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 hundred percent. I think people should give it a try. If you guys don't have a membership, don't worry. Just try until you get the membership thing. Uh, honestly, you could go through quite a bit of Power 101 before you reach a membership. Uh, before you need a membership. And I do think the game is worth it. I do think the game is worth a membership. Uh, I gotta say, you know, you got the market dust. Let me go ahead and use that. Basically, the, the balloons go first before anything else. Then you got Sky Spirit. So that's a buff ability. Uh, I could use that. So Bonnie Anna has burst fire and double tap. If she kills someone, which she'll kill that. She'll probably attack that next. And that'll die. So the balloons go before anything. Yes, I'm wasting the balloon, but it'll summon a minion. This, I just use an ability to up our agility by 100%. So double tap, mega hit, and kill. Or not. Or yes, you will. But other than that, you know, I gotta be honest. I think people should really start playing Pirate 101. The game is 100% one of the most fun games I've ever had playing. I honestly enjoy it a bit more than Wizard 101. And that's actually bringing me to another point. I just realized you there's a lot more teleporting in Pirate 101. So in Pirate 101, they have these life bounds you get bound to. And basically, so you saw me get bounced to the life on and so it's back there now. Or it's over here. I could basically go to Skull Island using this teleport. Go to here using this. But if I go to Skull Island, I'll lose this because there's a, a fountain in Skull Island. I could mark here. But basically, the point of this is if you go far away and you don't have one, you know, then you could just use this and you'll teleport to the life fountain. And it's really nice. I do personally like this. Now, there are a few things I wish were added to Pirate 101. Criticisms would be one. I wish the pet training was shorter. Pet training is a bit of a pain, but however, pets do play a much larger role in Pirate 101 than they do in Wizard 101. In Pirate 101, they have talents and abilities, so they can actually go out on the field and attack. And then on, uh, and you have your companions, so many companions you could use that you know all have different abilities uh you know and all have their own perks and stuff like that i do think bonnie ann is one of the first ones you pick up and other than your uh school companion and i do think she is one of the literal best in the game very good that they give you one of the best companions in the game as a starting companion i just think honestly people should try out power 101 100% it's much worth it I do stream the game on twitch if you want to check that out there is a link actually in my about section that you guys can check out to go ahead to my twitch and subscribe I do giveaways every once in a while if you do want to check them out but yeah I mean that's pretty much it about Power 101 I do think it's a very fun game you guys should try it the only complaint I would say is uh, ship combat is a bit slow but other than that the game itself is very fun I enjoy it 100% I've had a friend go into the game and they are now <laughs> I feel like they're addicted to the game. They got very much into it. Um, the community so far that I met has been very fun and very kind. And I hope to see you all next time, either on YouTube or on Twitch. But until then, I'll see you guys later. This has been Cookie For You. Make sure to drop a like, follow if you enjoyed the video, or even better, make sure to drop over to the Twitch and drop a follow. It's completely free. Don't have to pay. Other than that, Thank you so much. Love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.